God damn it. <sighs> well guys, welcome back to another episode of Graveyard Keeper. In this episode, I think I might need to start working on the church. Because, as you would have seen there, this sermon failed as well. In the last episode, we had about three weeks, three sermons, and all of those failed as well. And I think the time before that, there were about two others, so I think it's about five sermons in a row that have failed. And faith is really important in this game. So, having a look at the technology tree, I need to start unlocking some of this stuff to build, and that's going to require some blues. So I'm going to go out the front because I've researched all of these gravestones and fences I made a big mistake of uh, researching that stuff and not researching any more gravestones or anything to get blues with and these ones all require stone cutter too which that requires 50 blue as well although I noticed that this Stone grave fence too, I have not researched yet. I'm going to get that. And I'm going to go grab a cake, which I've stored up a couple. So the reason I'm grabbing a cake, as you can see, it has the circumspect perk, which gives you extra points when you're studying new items. Those points are always blue. So you could research a pickaxe and you'll get one blue one where you'd normally get none. So it's always a wise idea to grab a cake before you start studying anything. Circumspect is also on grape pies and a couple other um, foods. Any of them will work. So I'm going to put that into... Damn it. Well, I'll catch you guys next week when I have one extra faith. Alright, it's the next week. I'm going to do another prayer. And I know a lot of you out there are probably saying, just make a prayer for faith or make a combo prayer. But for that you need an ink and quill, and that means you've got to make up the black paint. And I haven't made up a furnace too yet, so I can't make the cylindrical flask. But I'm about to do that. Hey look, another failure. Um... Yeah, so that's something I'm going to be doing either late this episode or maybe next episode. I'm definitely going to be making a prayer of faith or an, and a combo prayer. Probably the combo prayer, actually. To help out. But now that we've got the faith, let's research this fence. Let's eat the cake. And the fence is right there. So from zero got 31 so you see it gives us that extra one which yes it isn't much but it's that one that can be the deciding factor on whether you have enough or don't have enough and hey if you're researching if you have enough faith to research like 10 things in the two minutes then you got 10 extra technology points Let's get this church bench unlocked, and we'll go to the candelabra. So this is where I'm going to start using a lot of candles with the candelabras, which are only going to be small ones to begin with. We need simple parts, nails, and planks. Let's go get those. All right, so this should be enough. Let's start with the church benches. Because you can only ever... I did not bring enough planks down. Oh. Okay, wall candelabras are for the big church it seems. But we can get a bunch of these in. And these two sections here, they're good for when you have the confessional. Which is just in this one, so I might leave it get the faith to research some more 
Okay, so for now I'm going to put in some candelabras here and get a couple in. And that that brings the church quality up to 17. That's good. So the way that faith is worked out for sermons is you're in before the effect of any prayer is five times your initial quality. So for when the quality was five, it gave me one. Now that my quality is 17, it will give me three. And let's use the casual prayer for an example. Its effect, if it succeeds, is two times faith. So that means when we prayed and it succeeded, it gave us two extra faith on top of the one that was there. So that being the case, this quality score of 17 is high enough that it will always succeed. So I should get nine faith from it each time. It will be three initial and then six afterwards. And the reason I've put so many candelabras and I was saying that beeswax is so important is for candles. So as you can see, you need a bit of fat, some beeswax and some rope for these initial candles. For the late game candles, which are these ones, these candles here give you three per candle. And if you have the candelabra three, it takes three candles. So that each candelabra three gives you nine church quality. So if I was to use the standard church candles here that only give one, that would be an additional eight quality on top of this, which would put me at 25 church quality, which means it would be five beforehand and then 10 afterwards. So it'd be a total of 15. So you can see how much candles make a difference. Okay, so I just made the furnace too and started smelting up some conical flasks. And they give you some blue technology points each time one smelts. So I've actually upgraded the candelabra too. So I'm going to destroy all these candelabras and replace them with candelabra twos. Almost feels like a waste with uh, only just setting them up, but it'll be worth it in the end. Now we've got eight candelabra twos. Look at that, 25 score. So the alchemy workbench requires advanced conical flasks, whereas I thought it was just standard. But no, standard conical flasks are needed for making injections and all that, which was where I was getting confused. And I plan on ending the episode after this sermon, showing you guys just how much faith, how much of a difference upgrading the church makes for your faith. Well, this is embarrassing. Here's me thinking I was out of things that will give me blue technology points. And I forgot I haven't researched any human body parts. And all of those give you blue. Oh, nice, no, smart. Yeah. So as I was saying, you can buy candles from the bishop. As you can see, the tier one candles, they're a silver a piece here, which, yeah, that's pretty easy when you're making a bunch of money each sermon. Don't know if it's coming up for you guys, but there's the tier two candle. And the tier three is right here. These orange candles you see, they don't work at all, so do not buy them. So as you can see, I've now got 16 tier one candles and the quality is currently at 25 without any of these candelabras being filled let's put in all of these candles and watch the quality score skyrocket
and look at that. We're now at quality of 41. We started this episode at a quality score of 5. And now we've got 41. Now remember, this kept failing on us. Now for it to guarantee success, you need at least 10. We've got that. We've got 41 quality score. So for every 5 you get 1 faith beforehand. So that should be 8 faith coming in. And since the casual prayer gives you 2 times faith on top, that means we should be getting 16 on top. So we should get 24 faith. So as you can see, there's the 8 initial. And voila, it's a success. That... Ah. Okay, so I was wrong about the casual prayer. It's only giving you two faith on top, not two times faith. Which I really should have remembered, because the prayer for donations, it says, for its effect, the sermon faith, well this is the combo prayer, but it's the same for prayer for donations, gives you 50 to 150% on top. So it won't double it. Don't know why I thought it doubled, but 10 faith is still a lot better than 1. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.